The German poet and writer Hermann Hesse once stated, there is one problem besides the ego, and that is that most people copy others even for good deeds. But instead, it is more important to find their own abilities and to use them, to contribute something good for this world. Or to speak with an opposite example, have you ever joined a group with which you have done good deeds? whether it's religious or not. And after a period of time, you felt uncomfortable or the deed which the group stands for suddenly feels senseless or useless or something. And here it comes what Hermann Hesse means because you were not using your unique abilities. You were just adjusting to a group, doing anything for the group. Even for good deeds, okay, but it's not you. It's not really you. And this at the end is not to speak again with religious words what God wants. God wants people who are really happy and who find themselves and their abilities. But what is yours? And then how to really serve others with your ability? And what does all have to do with win-win situations? You will get in this podcast. Hi all you lovely bodhisattvas out there. Of course, besides meditation, we have the need to do something good, right? This is normal on the path to enlightenment. Even there's research on that. Current Western research which, which says meditation leads to better ethical behavior. So this automatically comes on the way to enlightenment. And then there is this need to contribute something good to this world. But how? Sometimes, of course, it's good to support a religious group or any group which is engaging in good deeds. For some, it is good to be in a group, but for some, it is uncomfortable to be in a group. Some have even own ideas. Or there are other things behind different reasons. The first thing is up to the group. When it's a very strict group and you feel the good deed as a burden or as a duty, then it feels uncomfortable. Sometimes it feels even stressful when there are, for example, many appointments to do something good, to, do, to be here and there, to just engage for something like in a good deed. But it is too much planned and our soul is spontaneous. Higher consciousness always is spontaneous, loves to be spontaneous and planning so much. Always when people come together in a group, of course, you have even to plan the appointment. You have to think so much. And that is not good. The more you develop in the direction to the enlightenment, it is not good to adjust too much. And then, of course, it feels from time to time senseless because you're asking, how can I give when I feel uncomfortable? Because in your soul... There is a disbalance when you feel it like a duty to help others. First, you must be balanced. That means first you have, Jesus also said, love your neighbor or the other person as well as you love yourself. But indirectly, it means first you have to love yourself. And when you are good balanced and good in yourself, of course, then you can serve others. But still, most groups are good and you can give it a try to join some of the groups and which fits to you better. You can even stay there, not the whole time. And when they are not too strict, of course, you can go there from time to time and you will feel well. When you feel well doing the good deed with the group, then everything's good because not only the good deed is good to help someone others to feel well, also you must feel still well then it is balanced and then you can do it the second aspect why sometimes to do good deeds in already existing groups or in already existing ideas is that the ego can involve i have seen people which only engage in good deeds in joining such a group doing many things there doing helping in good deeds only to run away from themselves not to look at because they didn't want to look at their own psyche and they don't want it to develop they were just like 
running away, having even more work. They were already in full-time jobs. And then in the free time, they engaged in something so that they had even more work that they could not see what's inside of them because they don't want to see themselves. And that's that was a big problem because they outspent themselves too much. There's a big difference between outspending yourself and true devotion. When you do it really from inside, when you are in balance, you want to do this and you really do this and could stay in yourself also because it's really a hard thing that you want and wish to do that. And then you engage. That's absolutely perfect. But in most cases, people forget the devotion aspect, which is actually the divine part here. And they are going in outspending themselves. And first reason is for this psychological thing that they run away. But even some people who are too young also engage there because they don't know what to do else. And there are many reasons why people go in outspending themselves. Another ego problem is to be too much proud or even haughty with engaging somewhere. Once I have heard from a religious group, or not the whole group, there were only two girls just writing something on the street with chalk, just like a demonstration support for something, for a good attitude they had. That was okay that they engaged there, but I heard how they talk and they were talking like it that what they are doing there feels good for their ego, that they do something good and that they feel so much recognition for that. And so, and then I was thinking, oh my God, it's not good to do this good deeds only for recognition for the ego. So you must be very much careful here. But still, I don't want to blame the groups or something. For some people it's good and for some people it's partially good. I am still having this kind of contribution in a group but i don't do it so often i go just around once a month not too much of because i have my own good deeds in everyday life and i spend it from my own and this brings us already to the third point and that was the biggest insight for me and later i read it on on the depth psychology also as evidence that i'm on the right path so first it is good to find your thing that you find out what you love, how you like to contribute in this world to do something good. And for this, you have to find out, first of all, who you really are. First, you have even to find your ego. And after finding the ego and figuring out that most of the ego is only illusion, the whole ego is only from the education and from the upbringing and from all these things formed, and it's not you, then you first find out your higher self through meditation. And later, your ego also develops and will change and you will have many new interests and then you can engage in this world. And when you develop in that way, even there is a need to help someone else. Even your ego becomes so nice that it wants to contribute, to do something good. But still, some people try and try and try in any groups and they don't find because you first have to find what's your thing. And after a period of time, you would see on the motivation if it is still yours. And that's why after a while, people break with groups because they feel they are not motivated anymore. Because they feel it doesn't make sense. Or when the motivation lack is there, this is a big sign. But motivation can also be a trap from ego. So you don't, from the very, when there is only one lack of motivation once a, a while. So, of course, don't go in the trap and directly break the contact with them or something just stay calm and try to observe this is only one bad day the ego has just continue and then when again and again you see there's a motivation problem in doing that good deed with that group then you can still cancel and at the same time you will develop even you see there are problems in the group i had also the experience that i could see some failures and I want to make the failures better, but nobody was listening to me. I brought my ideas. I talked about what's wrong and what can I do better, but they were not accepting that. They were saying, no, we have done this so as we do all the time and we will not change. It's of course, the older people are, they believe that what they are doing is all the best and they should not change anything and they don't like new ideas. And so that can happen. 
And then all things I now do, and I now have doing, bringing new things in this world are from the ideas which I got when I was in a group and when I was contributing and also from jobs where I tried to contribute with my ideas and nobody was accepting them, they were rejecting. And then I brought ideas in my books and I brought ideas in my videos and brought everything what was rejected from the old people that I was thinking were really good ideas and I was not throwing them away only because the people reject me. So I started my own thing and that was so important and I can recommend that. What can you do then to figure out what is yours? Actually, there were two things. The first thing was I was considering what have I done as a small child? What Which hobbies did I like? What things I like to do? With which target group I like to work? From which people I like to be surrounded? So I was thinking only that, just remembering me as a child before all the education came and influenced me. So try to remember what you liked before you were in school, all the first six years. Try whatever you can remember or ask people, ask your parents, what did you like when you can't remember? So you can figure out what you love and then you can try to start this from new. This will also be very helpful, first of all, for your own soul that you remember this, like painting or whatever you like as children. And then if possible, you can consider if you can contribute something good for this world. Even painters contributed something good. They were not in a group and they were not engaging. They were not standing center stage. They were just at home painting. But later on, their pictures became so famous when they were already dead. That happens. So you should not strive after money because it can happen that even a good idea becomes famous when the founder is already dead. But first you must find yourself and your good idea. And that's even more important. So then you will have the joy. So you're not going after the money, of course, because you develop. You can still work, work. And besides for the good deeds, you have something. You must find something out what's yours and what you can work with. So, okay, in best cases can even happen. You have a word which you love, where you can help people at the same time you get money and at the same time you have joy. That would be the perfect work. And that is called a calling. Then it's a win-win situation for everyone. But even besides the work, the work is some for most people work is still only for the money. And in the free time, you want to create win-win situation. And that is exactly what it makes so important that you find something which fits to you, which comes out from your heart, which belongs to you as true person, not which and others have told you or have educated you to be and to do. So you must find out what, who are you actually, first of all, and then you find out what it is. And for this, it can help to remember childhood and also other things. Later on, I came to that thing that things happened to me and I started to believe in God. And that one day where I felt absolutely helpless and senseless, I prayed to God that I want to spend my abilities, all of my, I have many abilities, but in the ordinary university system and in the ordinary work system, I really don't feel that I can use my abilities. Uh, always there is so much office work and it's all the same and just sitting on the screen it's not natural it's not fitting to humans i don't want to do this i i want to do something real i want to do something that where i really can use my skills and so i was praying i want to figure out what are my abilities and from these abilities i was uh, giving a promise to god that i will use my abilities as best as i can to contribute to something good and then it took a while. It was not starting the next day or the next week or something. Then I just continued to write my first book. Actually, I started it earlier, but then I gave up. And then I had these thoughts, you know, when you start something, these negative thoughts arise that uh, similar books already existing and it's not good enough and blah, blah, blah. Then your mind always tells you this is not good and that is not good. But that's a trap, and so you never finish anything good. 
because always your ego will intervene and you have to stop to listen to that ego. You just ignore it and you just follow what was your motivation to do something new, to do something good. And I then figured out that I was good in playing with words and in creating sentences and these language things. And after finishing my book already, even while writing, I was seeing that Sometimes when I was correcting my book, I was even thinking, oh, have I written this sentence or this chapter or something? Because sometimes I felt it was really good and I was thinking, I can't have done it. Of, of course, because the higher self is intervening in the writing flow. And when you then go in correction, you are working with the ego and the ego doesn't believe even that you are good yourself. That So... Sometimes, yes, when it compares with others, then it can happen that you think you are better than the other person. But when you are correcting your own stuff, then sometimes it happens that you think, oh, have I written this? Really? Oh, it's not too bad. It depends. It depends also on the mood. It can be that the same sentence the next day when the ego mood is bad, it thinks that everything is bad, what you have done and written. So it's very different. But again, not listen to the ego, just continue what you love. And when the book was ready, I was starting lessons. I have never thought that I will become a lecturer or something like a teacher or that. I was always rejecting that. But suddenly I had the eager to share the content of my books, even in spoken words. So I started the free lessons on university and I started to join a college to hold ordinary seminars and now i'm already working on a home page i will publish a home page about the dark night of the soul in, including a blog or other things and i don't know but just i had the idea i will create a home page so what i here really can recommend besides thinking of what have you done as child is you can try the same prayer that you say god okay i want to serve you I want to serve people, humans, with my abilities. So first I have to figure out what are my abilities, what is so different, what I can, what I know from many others, which they are not good in it. I am Sometimes you are better in a thing than others. But this is not, as an ego would do that, he would think that, okay, I'm better than the others. But you can't go through the whole life thinking you are better. That doesn't make sense. When you are better in something, the best thing is to use it for good deeds. And that's actually the only thing we can do when we figure out we have something better than others. That's a very cool thing. And so this is your purpose. Even you don't know the real purpose, the real purpose we will know after the enlightenment. But since the enlightenment, before we ca came to the whole, to the maximum point, I want to say, we also have to do something because we can't sit and meditate the whole time. We also must move somewhere and move sometimes and have to do something. And so you, for now, you can take your small purpose, only a thing which in which you are better than others. And besides, you can meditate, you can pray and ask God, which it is when you don't know in which thing you are better, then ask God for help that, that you find it out in which ability you have, which only few people or nobody around you has, so that you can do that and find that. And then you use it to engage somewhere. Then you use it for good deeds. And that's your thing. And that will be more motivating. It will be a pleasure for you and for others. Then you have this win-win situation. And then, of course, you don't need recognition and all these ego things because you have joy while doing this. And you are in this devotion of which we have talked about. So you don't need to fall to outspend yourself or to feel suppressed from a group or feel suppressed. You just take your ideas, bring them in the world and do them with devotion. So you, at the same time, you meditate and at the same time, you do something good for others and at the same time for yourself also. And that is the best thing. And of course, still besides, you can join groups and you can contribute a little bit to groups because your lower soul parts still will feel comfortable to be in a group from time to time to contribute to do something bigger. Is only sitting somewhere writing books or, you know. So still, you can be in a group also. 
not too often when you are on the way finding your own new thing to create good deeds to find your idea to bring it in the world of course then your whole motivation is there and then you spend less time to a group and that is the perfect balance or others of course they can give up to join groups it's different it depends also on your personality it's not only that you do this thing and that thing and that i recommend this and that and you follow this you whatever i say you think of yourself what things what fits to you what is good for you and the rest you reject some things you adjust to some things will fit other things you reject and that's good just listen to these videos and work with it but what you always can do is small contributions without any entanglement. Entanglement is also a problem of the groups. And small contributions is that you are so aware in everyday life. You are already because you are a meditator and you are in a good development. And when you are aware enough, then you would see this old woman which have problem to go on the train. And you very spontaneously help the woman or any the old man or whatever is happening you see something you feel the compassion and you intervene spontaneously and that is the best thing but besides of course you can and you should consider your idea your unique thing why are you here and what you bring in this world 